Hello, welcome to Camp Beer Reviews. Still in Madeira. I've had a few. Right, another Chamay beer. I'm at the White House in Funchal, Madeira. Um, they've got a few of these going on. I've just had the red. Now here's the blue. You can't see it's blue, you can there. A bit more light now than the first review, but um, it's coming at 9% ABV. So it's a bit of a strong character. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm expecting kind of dark fruits. It's a strong beer, strong Belgian beer really. So um, dark fruits, that sort of thing. Um, it's got on the label 2015 on both sides. So they must have released this, this beer annually. So whether or not hops will change year to year, I have no idea. Um, I don't know about the IBUs in this either, so I don't, you know, I'm not sure. Um, it's probably not going to have very many being one of these beers. It's got a huge shelf life, 2020, so. And it's coming out at the top. It wants to come out into the glass, so. Let's see what this one brings. Chamay glass. It's sweating so much this glass straight out of the fridge that it had had a little pond in the bottle, in the bottle, in the glass. I'm not that drunk, honestly. Oh, so it's pouring a very nice dark colour as you'd expect. I'll leave that bit in the bottom. Chamay. Let's get a on this one. So yeah, dark fruits. What I was expecting, really. Plums, dates, raisins, figs. You're picking up on the yeast character. Nice roasted malt kind of aroma. Mixed in with them dark fruits and the Belgian yeast. Let's give us a try. Cheers. Nine percent. You're in trouble if you don't know how strong this beer is because it's not at all tasting like a nine percent ABV beer. It's full of flavour. It's got quite a, not a heavy mouthfeel, but full bodied. Um, so that will probably give you an inkling of, to the ABV, but you're not actually tasting alcohol wise. Very smooth. Complex. It's a complex beer. It's so nice to try some of these beers. I can get these beers. There's a Belgian bar where I live in Ramsgate that serves this. I always seem to steer clear of it, but now I'm actually forced to have these beers here in Madeira. What a beer this is. Honestly. It's in a free 30ml bottle. It's one of these stumpies. You're not going to see the yeast in here because it's a little bit too dark, but... I still have no idea how much this is either. It's probably between four to five euros a bottle, I'm hoping. I'll get stung when I get the beer. Um, when I get the, um, what's the name? I can't even think what it says. Yeah. Dark fruits all the way. It's lovely. So when I get Zibil, 
Um, for you 40 Towers lovers out there, you might know what I'm on about. Who's just getting loud? It's reaching the heights of the ABV of this beer. But you're not tasting it though. It's a fantastic, at least a fantastic song. Cracking. That is absolutely fantastic. As for the rating, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 for me. If you've had this beer before, let me know what you think about it. Put your comments down below. I'm, I'm always very, very grateful of anyone who makes a comment because I've, you know, I've not got many subscribers. I just spoke. I, I don't expect to get a lot of subscribers, but um, even just to make a few, few friends who are into real ale craft beer, um, within the passion, the passion of real ale craft beer, that, you know, like I do, um, it's always good. It's nice to have friends in the same kind of topic that you like so um, so yeah put your comments down below tell me what you think about it and eventually I will get to uh, reply to your messages so I'm a bit lackluster with replies so apologies um, I do realize it but um, at the moment I've got about 37 subscribers so which is more than I ever thought I'd get because there's lots of beer reviewers out there who know a lot more about beer than I do so um, so I appreciate it, thank you very much. So yeah, put your comments down below. Please subscribe, cheers.